Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zenitin, and welcome to today's video for Legends of Runeterra. We're continuing on with spoiler season for the upcoming set, A Curious Journey in Legends of Runeterra. Uh, today, we didn't get any new champion. We got a new keyword though, and what is very, very, very likely, like 99.9% .9 likely to be support cards for uh Galio uh because it's all petrocyte uh a lot of it's petrocyte related cards which is what Galio is made of if i remember on my league lore correctly uh but yes we got uh, we got two pages of cards and a new keyword so uh might not be that long of a video because there's not that many cards to talk about but the new keyword might take up some time in this uh video it is called formidable now before we look at the cards, because a lot of the cards have formidable on them, let's actually look at the keyword first because it's somewhat hard to explain. So we got an image here uh, to help me explain it. So formidable, very simple to read. I strike with my health instead of my power. So it's not actually increasing the, its power when it strikes, it's just striking using its health instead of the power. So it's still, for example, here's the example, Petrocyte Hound. Ignoring any buffs or anything, when it strikes, it'll be striking for two damage, but it's technically still a zero two. So you can, in theory, before the strike comes through, play things like Pings, so you know, vile fees, pokey stick to lower it. So if it strikes with nothing going on, it'll strike for two. If it gets pinged and is brought down to an 0 01, it'll only strike for one. Uh, very important to actually remember this because there are challenger formidable units, which are pretty decent. Uh, but the reason why this looks uh pretty interesting is uh certain cards uh do synergize really, really well with formidable. There, one of the cards spoiled today also can grant. I don't think it's grant. I think it's give formidable for a turn. Uh, but so, for example, uh, just in Bandle Cities, because we'll talk about Bandle City. It's uh, the newest region, the most recent one, the one that the set's giving the most cards to probably. Stress defense. Stress defense on a formidable unit. You're now striking for six damage at burst speed. Of course, you can say like, well, you can interact with it after that. Stun it, ping it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sure. But also other cards, um, cards just with high health, Bubble Bear, Braum, Soraka, Noxus's Battering Ram as well is a consideration. So there's a lot of things to consider with this new keyword, but I like it. Very simple keyword, but very powerful. Uh, we've had a lot of like these large health, low power units in the game uh, before that were mostly just meant to be very defensive just back on the back line maybe block some smaller things but now they can be a little more aggressive if you can consistently give them formidable uh and then the units that already have formidable on them are very interesting so uh enough talking about the actual keyword i think that's enough talking about it it's not too complex it's not as complex as say the last keyword we got which was attach so let's go and look at some of the cards so First off, we already talked about it a little bit, but Petrocyte Hound. One mana, zero, two with Formidable. Okay, okay. So, I'm not a fan of this. Um, I just... Hmm. Like, yes, granted, with buff to, buffs to health, this can be a very good start to a weird Formidable beatdown deck. And I don't know, like, Ionia is interesting. Like, you can use Twin Disciplines, turn one, Petrocyte Hound, turn two, Twin. You're striking for five, in theory, on turn two. That's cute. Um, but the reason I think you're going to play Petrocyte Hound is you want to play it early so you can start buffing things. Because some of these things, as you can already see with Duran Protégé, some of, some of these cards will be buffing health and stuff, and who knows what Gallia will want to do. So I think you will play this in a uh, deck that wants to play a lot of formidables and get a lot of health buffs on their unit early. 
Uh, kind of like how Saga Seeker is in Pantheon decks. You play Saga Seeker just to have something to buff early. So I think that's what Petricide Hound is going to be trying to do. Uh, the next card, though, Petricide Broadwing. Two mana, 03, Formidable Challenger. So a lot of people saw this and were like, this card is nuts. It's a two mana, 3-3 three, three Challenger. And I'm like, yes, kind of. In a clean, no one's doing anything kind of combat. Yeah, that's nuts. That's crazy. But again, like I said earlier, when we were talking about Formidable, a ping can ruin this thing's day. You play this card, you play Bro Patricide Broadwing, and you're like, okay, I can deal three with my strike. And you challenge like a two, three. And then your opponent's like, okay, that's cool. I'll play in response to the to the attack, Pokey Stick, Vile Feast, Group Shot, etc., etc. Now you're... Petrocyte Broadwing's only striking for two damage, and it has two health, and it will just trade and die to um, the 2-3 and only deal two damage and not actually kill it. So, it's a nice card. Don't get me wrong. It's a very strong card. Um, if you add in something like Tough with Chain Vest, uh, Bright Seal Protector is also in Demacia. Uh, Sharp Sight as well is just really good, too, because you can... In response to the Pokey Stick, you can also just play Sharp Sight to buff it up even more. Uh, I think it's a pretty good card. I think it's very, very strong. Um, if you're able to just heal it or buff its health over and over, this can just run away with games, kind of like how a uh, Laurent Protégé or a Fleet Feather can run away with games with a little help. I think Petricide Broadwings also in that camp where it's like, it's okay on its own, and with a little extra help from other cards, it can just take over games. And unlike Laurent Protégé and Fleet Feather Tracker, this can do more than two damage. Like, those cards need other cards to do more than two damage. This card, by itself, can do three damage. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I will say this, though, about these formidable cards. They do kind of suck on defense, and especially against Fearsome, so you just won't be able to block. So, that's going to be something you should probably keep in mind. Uh, Culling Strike, I guess, is also another card you should think of, but... No one really plays that card anymore. Next card, though. Durand Protégé. 3 mana, 3-2. Three, okay, kind of bad stats for the cost. I want to play uh, pay 2 mana for a 3-2, so hopefully it's got a good playability. Play the card. Grant an ally, plus O, plus 1, and tough. So, that's good. That's good, actually. So, looking at it just from a stat point of view... It's a 3-3 of stats with tough that gets to spread it over two units. I like that. I really, really like that. I think that is better than just like a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three tough. I think being able to choose something to give plus one health and tough is insane. Uh, giving like just already the curve they're showing off is Petricide Broadwing into Duran Protégé. Or, I don't know, uh, Fiora. Seems to like this too. Fiora becoming a 3-3 again, like she used to be, would be nuts. And then giving her tough is crazy good. Uh, but yeah, like you play Broadwing into Protégé. You have an 0-4 formidable with Challenger. So it'll be striking as like a 4-4 tough Challenger. The pings won't really do much against it because, you know, it has tough. Uh, that's crazy. Like that's insanely good. And then other... Uh, like, outside of the Formidable camp, other decks like this, too. Other cards like this, too. Uh, just in Pan or, uh, Demacia alone, Shivana and Poppy love this card. Um, Lux, not so much, but Lux is fine. Um, but yeah, I think this card is great. There's a lot of things. Almost every card would love having an extra point of health and tough. Uh, she is a little expensive, though. Like, three mana is a lot, but thankfully... I will say this, thankfully, she can block Fearsomes. I am not a big fan of these units that are expensive that can buff units, but when they can't block Fearsome, but thankfully, Duran Protégé can block Fearsome, so that's nice. So yeah, I expect to see this card quite a bit, not just in these formidable decks. I think this card will be seeing play in a lot of variety of decks. Plus, it activates Faded, so, you know, Pantheon and Wounded White Flame probably like this card, too. And Pantheon plays Demacia a lot. Uh, but yeah, very, very powerful deck. 
Um, the Librarian we saw as well in Vandal City probably is okay with this card too. You can play like some weird Vandal City Fey Demacia deck with this playing like turn one, whatever, turn two, the Librarian, turn three, Protege, and then you'll have a uh, three, four. Yeah, I think three, four tough, which is not the best you can do with the Librarian, but it's a pretty okay curve as well. Anyway, next card. Like I said, not that many cards, only six cards. Uh, Duran Sculptor, two minute, two, two. When you summon another ally, grant it plus O plus one. I like it. I think this is a strong card. I don't think it's OP, but I think it's super strong. Um, now, here's the thing. What deck wants this card? Pro obviously, the formidable deck, most likely. I like this card a lot. This card reminds me of Yordle Explorer. Uh, Yordle Explorer before it got nerfed would give all the Yordles you summon. When you summon a Yordle, it would give the Yordle plus one, plus one. Uh, and then it got nerfed to what it is now, where it only gives plus one, plus zero. Oh. This card is kind of like that, except the stat buff is reversed. It gives plus O oh, plus one instead of plus one, plus O. Oh. But it also hits every single unit, regardless of tribe. It's not connected to only, say, like Yordles or I guess for Demacia, like Elites or something. So that's why I really, really like this card. Um, just really good overall, giving a health buff to things like Fiora, Zoe, um, challengers in general is crazy good. Uh, still though, I just wish like, I don't know. I think this card is so good. It's just, I feel she is a little fragile and I feel like that's okay. She is obviously meant to be a back row engine not really meant to be doing combat unless it's very, very safe for her to attack in. Uh, so yeah, like, sure, she can be Mystic Shotted, like, it's whatever. Having a card that a Mystic Shot is whatever. Uh, if she had one more health, I think she would be crazy and maybe even, like, a must-include in a lot of Demacia decks, but as a 2-2, I think she's strong, but not insanely strong. So yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like for me to be happy, I would have to buff two units with the protector. So that's what I paid two mana to get like two, four of stats, two, two from the sculptor and then the O two from the buff she gave. So that's fine. Um, yeah, I like it. And I think it really is just, um, informidable. She'll be okay too. Kind of going to be awkward though with the curve though, I feel. I feel like there are other things you're going to be wanting to do on two. And this is a card you really, really want to get on the board as soon as possible. Anyway, next card, Durand Architect. This is the guy that a lot of people are talking about, I think. Uh, the guy who gives other units formidable. He is the only way at the moment to give other units that don't have formidable. Formidable. Three mana, one, four. Support. Give my supported ally plus O plus two. And formidable this round. So he's kind of got like a nice little heal thing. So, you know, if your unit's damaged, he can heal it kind of. And then give it for, uh, formidable. That's good. That's good. You can, so you can look at all kinds of things. Braum, Bubble Bear, Soraka, Zillion even, uh, et cetera, et cetera. This guy is nuts. Like, I think this might be, this guy is in the running for the best card we've seen today. Sure, we've only seen six cards today, but it's between this guy and the Petrocyte Broadwing, I'd say, who are the two are in the running for the best cards. But yeah, there's so many big units out there that would love Formidable. Like I was saying, though, um, Braum, Soraka, Zillion, Tom, like Tom Kench, Tarek, uh, Trundle, Trundle's Ice Pillar. It's crazy. So, like, I love it. And he gives health, like... That's the biggest thing. If he only gave formidable, sure, whatever. But the fact that he's giving health is what's scary. Like, the, it's so, going to be so hard to deal with anything. Like, you might say, like, oh, you can just block him. Yes. But it looks like they've learned their lesson with support. He's got a lot of health. Four health on a three drop is crazy good. Like, four health is so hard to kill. Um... You have what, like Ravenous Flock, Black Spear? Those aren't that played. Are you really going to use a Thermogenic Beam on Durand Architect? Are you going to, I don't know, do you go to 
culling strike to get rid of this guy. It's going to be really tough to kill him. So he's going to get at least one. I feel like on average, he's going to get at minimum one support in. Possibly even two because of his high health. Like you play that, so you have like, you go whatever, like one, two, whatever. Turn two, you play the Broadwing. Turn three, you play Architect. And then you can either like, you can buff up your Broadwing. And then the Architect's still around because, you know, turn three, not many things are trading in combat for a one four. Maybe like a Wounded White Flame with some combat tricks. I think that might just be it. Actually, no, there's some three attack units that have four attack, but they're not really commonly played now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, I think this guy is great. And if you are using the Broadwing, you can just pull in the annoying unit. Like the big unit that would potentially kill the Architect. So yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, very, very scary card. Um, I can see like some weird like support shenanigans going on in Targon Demacia with this. Uh, that are not necessarily Taric Pantheon. Like maybe we can go and do some like Taric... Who knows? Taric... Um, Soraka, Taric, Zoe, Soraka, Zillion. Well, no, we can't play Demacia with that. But yeah, I think there could be some something around some weird Demacia Targon support deck. Maybe a Demacia Ionia support deck. Ionia has some support cards too, like Pix and Lulu, I believe, and others. Uh, last card though for today, Petrocyte Stag, four mana, three five. Another support card. Support, I take all damage for my supported ally this round. I like the concept of this card. I don't think it's good. I like the concept because it's kind of like Shen. I look at this card and I, it reminds me of Shen a lot. I can't blame you if you don't remember Shen. When's the last time you've seen him? He doesn't really see play anymore. But yeah, like, it's great. It's pretty good. It's like... You're basically using this to be able to attack him with a unit and sort of protect that unit. Uh, and it does protect it from all mid-combat stuff too. So, you know, uh, single combat, cool. Vile Feast, Grasp, Box, etc., etc. Just damage-based stuff, Mystic Shot, that's funny. Petrocyte Stag will just absorb it all until it dies, of course. Uh, so yeah, I think this is really good at helping you protect cards that want to attack. Uh, or that have to attack and want to attack multiple times. So, you know, Poppy, Fiora, you know, like think about like, the old Shen Fiora. Um, anything that's, that Yumi is attached to. Um, so yeah, I just think I like it. I think it's good. I think it's a fairly strong card. I don't, I think that is a good effect in theory and on paper, it seems good. I just, I'm not sure though. It feels a little clunky and it feels like it could just brick in your hand sometimes. Like it is a four mana three five and it doesn't do much on its own. It needs a board around. And it does synergize, I guess, with formidable by preventing your formidable units from taking too much damage. So that's cute, but yeah, I know it's fine. Maybe, like, you can curve out with, like, Durand Architect into Petrocyte Stag to protect the Architect to get even more Architect supports off. So that seems kind of cute. And 5 health is pretty high for a 4-drop. 5 health is pretty tough to answer on turn 4. Uh, a lot of these things, though, are very, very weak to Calling Strikes, so we might see some Calling Strikes come back. But Demacia is the region of Sharp Sights. And almost every Demacia deck plays three sharp sites, so watch out for that. Uh, but yeah, I like this keyword. I like Formidable. It's pretty nice. Uh, if you've played card games before, you've definitely seen things like that, uh, especially in Magic and I believe in Hearthstone as well. And pretty much all card games. Uh, a lot of card games have done this whole like attack with your butt kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it's got a lot of potential. Uh, it might even bring Poppy back into the meta, which I know a lot of people don't really want to see that, but there's some potential for Poppy. Uh, and it gets me really hyped up for Galio and seeing just what Galio is going to do. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you think about the formidable keyword. Uh, I like it personally, very simple. Uh, and it's kind of cute that it's kind of a negative keyword too for certain... Uh, certain cards, 
you know, Pantheon, Arsenal, Victor, the random keyword guys. Uh, so that's kind of cute. Like your Pantheon gets formidable and now it's hitting for less. At least it should work like that. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, pretty cool keyword. Uh, and yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for today's video. I'd love to hear your opinions on what you think of the keyword, what you think of the cards, of course, as well. Uh, and if you guys just enjoy the video as well, it'd be really cool if you could just leave a like or a comment down below. Always helps out the channel and all that. Also, also, yeah, also, let's just do that. Also, if you want to just keep up with the Legends of Runeterra content, you can always go and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you guys want to watch me play some Legends of Runeterra, you can go and check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zeniton, where I stream pretty much every single day. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching this video. And until I see you guys in the next one, um, bye.